a candy bar? Oh, yes. Gather around, my son, and I shall tell you a tale. In the internet age, it's possible to order almost anything from anywhere. But the candy bars on today's list are not so common on American store shelves. There may be some specialty candy shops that offer these delightful sweet treats. However, these candy bars aren't available at most USA brick-and-mortar shops. Let's unwrap 10 candy bars America wished they had, part two. Where'd you get those candy bars? Nestle Mirage in Canada. Is it a Mirage or just product placement? This delicious chocolate bar is a true Canadian classic. In Canada, you'll find it at gas stations, convenience stores, grocery stores, and tons of other types of retail outlets. Americans who want to sample this delicacy from the Great White North How's it going, eh? may find Mirage candy bars at the world's largest online retailer. Other American websites offer it too. This candy bar is distinctive because its shape is trapezoidal. It's also renowned for its bubbles. When you bite into a mirage, you'll notice the many air bubbles inside. <laughs> My bubbles. Which may remind you of the bubbles in an Aero candy bar, provided you've tried Aero bars before. The air bubbles give this chocolate treat a little airiness and contribute to its wonderful, silky, melt-in-your-mouth texture. If you're planning to visit Canada by flying into the country or taking a road trip, be sure to pick up a Mirage bar while you're there. No matter how you get to Canada, you'll find that Mirage bars are readily available once you arrive. Nestle Canada offers Mirage candy bars and a range of other yummy yummy confections, including Kit Kat, Butterfinger, and Big Turk candy bars. We would like to eat your pepper. Cadbury Chomp in Australia. I'm gonna eat you like a dingo eats his baby. Koala, boomerang, wallaby, oi! This candy bar was available in Australia, and you'll still find it in the United Kingdom. However, the two confections marketed as Chomp candy bars were not exactly the same. The Aussie version had a caramel and wafer layer inside, which was covered in a chocolate coating. It was a narrower and longer candy bar than the United Kingdom Chomp. The Aussie bar weighed in at 30 grams. It was marketed as having appealing chewiness, and the packaging was fun. Each Aussie Chomp bar came in bright yellow wrapping that featured a cartoon dinosaur. Clever girl. Back in the 70s in Australia, these bars cost just 10 cents. Those were the good old days. In the 70s, the bars were also sold in Zimbabwe and South Africa with different wrappers. These bars used to be produced in England until production was shifted to a Polish facility. The UK version of Chomp, which has a red and blue wrapper, is available to Americans via the globe's biggest online retailer. Amazon, of course! But the bars are imported, so they aren't cheap. It may be possible to find a UK chomp in a USA candy shop that specializes in selling imported treats. Sadly, the Aussie chomp is no longer listed at the Cadbury Australia website. It's a candy bar that many Americans would have enjoyed sampling. And let me tell you, he's got a nice pair of smooth criminals down under. Fry's Chocolate Cream in the UK. Henceforth, this Saturday shall be known as Friday! This tasty candy bar is beloved in the United Kingdom. Fry's Chocolate Cream features a fondant center and a dark chocolate coating. This candy has been made since 1761 and it is still available today, so Americans may be able to find it online or at candy shops that feature treats from overseas. Now manufactured by Cadbury, the candy bar was originally produced by a company called J.S. Fry & Sons. Way back when, this chocolate bar became the very first candy bar Bar to be produced in mass quantities. While the original Fry's chocolate cream is delightful, there are other flavors available these days, including candy bars with orange fondant or peppermint fondant centers. I got no flavor. Examples of discontinued flavors that were offered for a very long time until they were discontinued include lime, pineapple, and raspberry. There's only one man who would dare give me the raspberry. Allen's Mini Jaffa's Block in Australia. Jaffa's. Don't leave them lying around. Jaffa's are little candies that are available in Australia as well as New Zealand. These candies are little spheres with hard candy shells and chocolate centers. The hard candy shells have an orange flavor. Jaffa's have been around since 1931, but the bar version of Jaffa's is newer. We're not animals. We live in a society. This bar was made from milk chocolate as well as Jaffa candies. While the original round Jaffa candies, which come in a bag are fairly easy to find at some American websites, 
The candy bar is something that candy fans worldwide just can't access at the moment. The bar is still listed at the manufacturer's website, but it's out of stock because it was a limited edition. It hasn't been removed from the website, so there is a good chance that it'll be available again someday, but Americans may have trouble buying it in stores if it is relaunched. americo australian relations are at an all-time low. Fans of chocolate with a touch of orange who live in the USA may wish that they could get their hands on Jaffa candy bars. A trip to Australia or New Zealand would probably be the most enjoyable and memorable way to try Jaffa candy for the first time, even if it's the round Jaffa candies. But let me ask you something. What do you think of this? Cadbury Star Bar. I'm gonna be a star! American fans of chocolate, caramel, and peanuts would probably really enjoy sampling Star Bars. Unfortunately, when it comes to finding them in U.S. stores, they are out of luck. The Star Bar first became popular in the 70s in the U.K. and some other European countries. The candy bar was also once available in Australia, but it is no longer sold there anymore. Crikey, I would have paid $50. What's interesting is that Star Bars are also sold in Canada and Germany, but they're sold under another name. They are known as Wonder Bar candy bars. Wonder Bar! So Americans who travel to Canada or Germany should be able to enjoy the Star Bar experience by trying Wonder Bars. Star Bars, aka Wonder Bars, taste fantastic, and they are fairly hearty candy bars. They are chewy and filling. The bar was once promoted as the munchiest bar ever. This thing always seems to know when I got the munchies. Made by Cadbury, their chocolate has a distinctive flavor that so many people love. And the Star Bar really shows off the special taste of this brand's chocolate. Wonder Bars taste the same, and they, along with Star Bars, are available from a few different websites. So they can be accessed, but they tend to cost more than most want to pay because they are an imported treat. Is it worth traveling to another country to try a Wonder Bar or a Star Bar? Maybe so. It depends on how much you love chocolate, peanuts, and caramel. Sampling the candy bars of other countries is certainly certainly a satisfying activity because it's a chance to taste something brand new to you, rather than the same old candy bars that you see at stores every single day. Of course, chocolate bars sold in America are amazing too, they are just very familiar. Satisfied? Nestle Munchies in the UK. Awesome! You gotta love a dude that brings the munchie. This sweet treat has been around for a long time, and it's still popular today. It's a UK candy bar that is actually a tube of smaller candies. If you've had Rolos, you'll find that munchies are similar. While Rolos are probably more popular worldwide, munchies do have loyal fans. This tube of candies that is hard to find in America is made from a biscuit with a core made of caramel coated in creamy milk chocolate. While these tasty candies are so easy to share, you may be tempted to hoard them if you can get your hands on them. Munchies! Who wants some munchies? There are specialty candy stores online where munchies may be ordered to be shipped to other countries. If you decide to order, you may want to order a lot in one shot to make the cost of shipping a better investment. Munchies are square candies in contrast to Rolos, which are known for their roundness. Munchies was launched by a candy company called Macintoshes during the 1950s. Later on, during the 1980s, Nestle scooped up the brand. It's so easy for chocolate lovers in the UK to enjoy munchies. Americans may they need to stick to Rolos unless they decide to order munchies or find local candy stores where they are sold. That's when it occurred to me, the key to my success, the munchies. Ballisto in Germany. After all, we are from the land of chocolate. These German candy bars are very unique and interesting, but they're hard to find in America. A Bellisto is made from a wholemeal cookie bar and cream topping, plus a milk chocolate coating. Each package comes with a couple of fingers, unless it's a multi-pack, which has a lot of fingers in one package. Hungry people in Germany may find that eating all 10 fingers in a multi-pack is far too easy. Of course, they can also be shared. You'll find Bellisto bars in Germany, as well as a lot of other European nations, including, but not limited to, France, Hungary, and the Netherlands. These bars weren't sold in the UK until 2011. The German word for dietary fiber is Ballestoffe. What? 
which is why this digestive biscuit cookie has its distinctive name. If you want a candy bar with more fiber than average, you may wish that you could snack on a Belisto right now. Tons of flavors are available, although availability of Belisto flavors varies from place to place. Examples of flavors include honey almond, hazelnut, and grain mix. Some flavors may be limited edition, including the white chocolate and yogurt flavor. Yogurt! I hate yogurt! Nestle Blue Ribbon in Scotland. Sits be praised. I'm from Scotland. This Scottish confection is made by Nestle. Why, you're not from Scotland at all! It first made an appearance in the marketplace back in the 1930s. It was produced by a big Scottish biscuit manufacturer known as Grey Dunn. Made from wafers with plenty of milk chocolate taste, it is also coated in a slim layer of creamy milk chocolate. Each blue ribbon contains just 99 calories, so these little indulgences don't pack a big caloric punch. It's also a treat that's free of artificial preservatives, sweeteners, flavors, and colors. The blue ribbon was taken off the market for a while, but reappeared during 2004. It's pretty easy for Americans to find this candy bar online, although they'll probably need to pay more for it than they do for USA chocolate bars such as Baby Roots. <laughs> Those who are willing to splurge may order Blue Ribbon candy bars online and enjoy their iconic good taste. These bars are easy to find in the UK and Europe. They were originally made in a factory in Glasgow, Scotland. Production was eventually moved to Newcastle, England. If the crisp crunch of wafers is what you like, you'll probably love the Blue Ribbon. And hopefully, you'll get the chance to try it someday. Candy fans usually love experimenting with candy bars from other countries, although they may go back to the tried and true favorites that are sold in their own countries. We all know that Twix is the only candy bar with the cookie crunch. Maltesers Teasers in the UK. Oh, you're teasing me! You may have heard of Maltesers. They are very famous in the UK. They are round candies that so many people crave. There is a candy bar called Maltesers Teasers, which features that classic and delicious Maltesers taste with the convenience of a chocolate bar. Teasers are chocolate bars with little chunks of Maltesers Maltesers candies embedded in them. Sounds good, doesn't it? So what do Malteser candies taste like? Why are they so popular that they've been added to the chocolate bars that are branded as teasers? Well, these candies have chocolate coating and airy, crisp centers. Oh, 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 oh but it's nice. And, and airy. They are so popular that they are sold in bucket form in the UK, in addition to being sold in single sizes and other sizes. The good news is that Maltesers candies became available in the USA in 2017, after years of being candies that were not easy to find in America. This candy is one on the list that will be so easy to enjoy in the USA. Twix bars were also brought from the UK to Canada, and that whole experiment turned out to be a huge success. Since Malteasers are still available in the USA, including teasers, which are a little harder to find than the round chocolate candies, you should give them a test drive if you haven't already. Face it, you're a tease. I'm not a tease. Sure you are. Cadbury Caramilk in Canada. Ho oh, oh. ho! Canada! Caramel chocolate bars are legendary in Canada. They are loved by Canadians. Each caramel is a candy bar that contains hollow milk chocolate pieces filled with creamy caramel. Canadians break up the caramel bars to eat the chocolate pieces or bite into the bars to release the luscious caramel. However people eat their caramel bars, they love the way that they taste. These uniquely Canadian chocolate bars aren't easy to find in America. Sorry. Sorry. Right. They aren't sold online in the usual places where people go to buy whatever they want. They may be available at specialty candy shops that stock imported goodies. Even though caramels aren't available in America, they are chocolate bars that a lot of Americans have tried. That's because plenty of USA residents cross the border into Canada once in a while. If you're planning on visiting Canada, you'll be able to find caramel bars almost everywhere that candy is sold. I like your ginger ale. Stay right here and tap on another one of our great videos. And for new viewers, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.